Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure BitLocker on a Windows 10 device and save the BitLocker recovery key automatically to Active Directory. So first of all, I have already, let me go to my domain controller. So I have the workstation, which is W03. And here you can see, I have a tab called BitLocker Recovery. And here in BitLocker Recovery, you can see the password is not visible here right now because BitLocker has not been configured on the workstation. So I've already configured uh, BitLocker on my um, domain controller to be uh, to make sure that my the password or the recovery password are saved on this computer and also visible visible in my domain controller. So let me go back to my workstation. So right click on the C drive and then click turn on BitLocker and just type your admin credentials. So please wait, BitLocker has been initiated. So I'm going to enter a password for this, com for this computer. So anytime you try to log onto this computer, you'll be requested to enter, to enter your password, which is this password, to be able to unlock BitLocker. So click Next. Then here, see, now you have three options. Save to a USB flash drive, save to a file, print the recovery key. So if I have not configured BitLocker in Active Directory and this computer does not belong to the organization unit where BitLocker is being, where the group policy is being linked, I will not have the option to click Next. I must have saved the, I must I surely have to save the uh, recovery key first before I will have the option to click Next. But right now I have the option to click Next. So you don't need to save it to a USB flash drive, to a file, or print the recovery key. So you just click Next and then you create and then select encrypt use this disk only because this is a new computer then run bitlocker system check when the computer is being restarted then right now please wait while bitlocker is being configured and you can see so i have to restart my computer for bitlocker to be actually configured so i'm going to restart my computer pause the video and then come back again when the um everything is, has been complete so my computer has started and right now I need to provide a password which um, I entered during the configuration of BitLocker process. So enter your password. And click enter. And your computer is going to get started again. So I have restarted my computer and here you can see that BitLocker has been configured on this computer which is workstation 03 and if i go to my domain controller here and i refresh my computer just try to refresh back and i double click on the workstation 03 as you can see the bit locker recovery key has also been is now visible here on in this tab so that is how easy it is for you to actually just save your bit locker key to Active Directory instead of saving it to a specific file, so it's very it's very easy for you to search for that f for the for the recovery key if someone tries to log onto his computer and it's I find it very difficult. So you just request for the password ID and then you can provide the recovery password for the user. So thank you very much for watching my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. If you think this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to give me a thumb up and also leave a comment and I will reply to you as quick as possible. And if you have any question concerning Office 365 or Windows security, you can as well leave a comment and I will reply to your comment as quick as possible. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for taking your time to watch my video. Goodbye.